Hi. I put this board together for many reasons, mainly to uh, to drive this stepper motor and this stepper motor over here, which is a four wire. This is a five wire stepper motor, so I'll start on this. Um, initially, this board was constructed so that I could uh, control the stepper motor to uh, manually go clockwise or counterclockwise using this single pull double throw switch. Now that circuit, I'm not going to set out because that's too. It would be a waste of time because it's 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 just way too simple. But I've also I've also uh, learned that I can I've manipulated this board so that I can control other electronic variables using my parallel port using my computer. Now I've written all of these uh, these codes using uh, C uh, from my micro class, and you can manipulate them. I can uh, create batch files that will uh, allow me to do many at once. I'll do a couple examples here. Um, if I want my stepper motor to go 360 degrees on my own, I will type 1 and enter. Now I'll do that again. 360 degrees. If I want to do it, in, that was in full step. If I want to do it in half step, I press 2. Pretty much does the exact same thing, only in half step and a little bit slower. This code uh, will allow for my uh, stepper motor, as soon as my uh, head breaks the uh, the infrared beam uh, at the slot sen sensor, it will uh, it will rotate uh, 1368 degrees in the opposite direction before stopping. So I'll show you that. That's kind of a nifty code. It was hard to write. It wasn't a lot of fun to write, but it's fun to watch it when you're done. Considering how many hours was put into that code, I'm not a very good programmer. Um, it's kind of a simple uh, outcome, but it was well worth it because of the time spent on it. All right, looking back at the board, the big picture here is I'm using this parallel port to drive this this uh, five wire stepper motor, as well as this four wire stepper uh, motor driver, and I've just used a a simple diskette drive to to uh, to show you what I can do with this. Now keep your eye on this on this uh, four wire um, stepper motor, and I'll show you what I can do with it. That's kind of cool. It was fun to do. Um, the driver is actually kind of an interest. It's kind of interesting. I've got two buffers uh, set up, uh, and you're not supposed to ever hook up the uh, connect outputs of TTL. But we've got the inputs and outputs of four buffers for each for each line here hooked up to each other. So it's actually supplying a lot of current, enough current to drive the uh, the four wire stepper motor. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a lot of fun to put this together. Um, a little explanation for this slot sensor here. Um, it's called an infrared slot sensor. You can use it for a lot of things. I use it in other things too, but this is a. Uh, what it does here is this is actually connected to a line in the parallel port called the acknowledge pin. And every time it's broken, it sends a signal to the computer, which is, of, of course, a part of the programming. But every time I break the beam, uh, this light goes off. It's set up. It's, uh, it was a lab. A lot of this was uh, lab affiliated, and I decided to put it on the board and make my own uh, changes. So uh, that's that's that. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something cool now. Uh, lastly, for this circuit, I'm going to I put uh, to, when I put together this menu, I actually put together a batch file that will allow me to do a couple of codes on here and uh, a couple of codes on here at the same time with the with the single clip code number. So I'm going to try that. This is called for trial. This will allow me to. Uh, to do several codes on on the one click of the uh, the enter key. So watch the stepper and then watch or watch the five wire stepper and then watch the four wire stepper starting now.